Steve stood at the intersection of creativity and technology. And he said that's where the value is going to come in the 21st century. Not just with the engineers, but with the poets who know how to both be engineers and believe in beauty, believe in design, believe in creativity and imagination. And so I think that's where the entrepreneurs of this coming decade are going to be coming from, is those who can apply creativity to great engineering. Steve felt it was important only to have A players. When people say, why was he rough on people? When I asked him, why were you so rough on people? He'd say, I had a team that was totally inspired. They, they would march through walls uh, to get to where we needed to go. That's what you need to do. And if you become too lax, the team gets lauded with B players. I only want to march with A players. You know, Steve Jobs failed quite a few times, got ousted from Apple in 1985. But he kept his focus. He kept saying, here's a product I feel passionate about. Whether it was a Pixar movie or Next Computer, which is what he did after he got ousted from Apple. Then when he finally gets brought back to Apple, he says, here's the four products we need to make first. Let's focus. Let's not look back at our failures. Music